Hey everyone, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How the heck are ya? How are you? Are you ready for your February reading? February is supposed to be filled with all kinds of planetary movement about love and relationships. So let's jump in and see what your February reading has to say. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Yes, Sagittarius. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. As you guys can see, you have the, cam the camera that is showing the cards and the camera that is showing me. So, this is a new thing for me. Hold on, I gotta set that down. My coffee cup's in the way. This is a new thing for me, and uh, I hope that y'all like it. So let's get into these cards. I am doing the classic third grade swirl here because uh, I like to make sure that my reversals are the way that they need to be, right? Reversals are super, super important in the tarot. So while I'm getting myself together and we're gonna do this reading from start to finish with the shuffle and everything, I will timestamp this video so you know when the actual reading starts. So Sagittarius, what is going on with you? What's going on? My sister's a Sag. December 3rd, Sagittarius. Let's see what is happening with Sagittarius for the month of February-ish, right? Tarot has no time, okay? Energy is all fluid. Tarot has no time. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask and pray for the next 30 days or so. so. Let's just see what the cards get for us. A general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. There is no way that this could possibly be your personal reading, right? The only way to know your true journey is to have your cards read, okay? If you'd like your cards read by me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There is a link in the box below. Um, it, just anybody, right? Anybody that you trust, have them read your cards. If you need clarification, confirmation, understanding, wisdom, or guidance about what you're about to see in this spread, okay? All righty. If you'd like to learn to read the tarot, there's a link in the box below to Tarot School, and it will teach you all about the tarot, whether you want to be a tarot card reader or you just want to understand more of what's happening um, when you watch tarot card readings. It's great. You can buy the whole series or you can buy individual videos. It's an awesome series. Link in the box below. Okay, let's get serious about this. Oh, sorry. I forgot to, uh, forgot to shuffle the clarifying cards. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Those are just as important as the root cards, right? Right? And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe, like, share if you think it'll help anybody. All right, Sag. Let's get this together. Let's get this together and do a reading from start to finish. Dropped one. Hold on. What did I drop on the ground? The Knight of Wands. Mm, was that some foreshadowing? Let's see how all of this works out for Sagittarius. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Normally, I don't click go on the camera until I'm ready to go, but I wanted to do it start to finish. You know, you skeptics out there who like to see the shuffling, <laughs> that's fine by me. We'll do it start to finish. All right. Let's get serious. Let's focus and do a spread. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have Sagittarius with me. And we would like to know, goodness, the cards are hot. They are popping all over the place. Spirit, the collective of Sagittarius. This King of Wands keeps wanting to show up. Let's see what this is about. Spirit, the collective of Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? What do you know? about the collective of Sagittarius and what is it that Sagittarius needs to know? What's coming down the road for Sagittarius, oh spirit, in the next 30 days or so? What is coming down the road for Sagittarius in the next 30 days? What do they need to know? What do they need to be made aware of? What is it that Sagittarius needs to understand that is going to unfold in their life in the next 30 days? how they need to handle it, how they need to get from point A to point B, the who, what, when, where, why, and how, please, of Sagittarius. Spirit, I am going to shuffle these cards four more times. I'm going to cut three times, and I will pull 15 cards off the top. 
please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the collective of Sagittarius the very best messages that they need to be aware of. Spirit, as always, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. All right, let's cut and see what we got. One, two, three, two, three. Bottom of the deck, six of swords in reverse, right? Too much water under the bridge, can't move on. First card out the box, the Ace of Cups. This is emotion, feeling, new start in love. Five of Pentacles, left out in the cold. Ten of Swords, this is either an inevitable ending or a resurrection. I do believe it's an ending because it's followed by the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who used to hold title but doesn't. Yeah, look, the Eight of Cups walking away. Get the stones out the way. Walking away. Four of Pentacles. Control. A need to control. Feeling out of control. The world in reverse, bringing some closure. Judgment in the center of your reading, Sagittarius. This is about some kind of massive decision in regards to the harmony and happiness in a relationship or your life to the Ten of Pentacles. So some kind of massive decision about happiness and security. The Nine of Pentacles. So we have culmination, culmination. Actually, we have completion, completion with the 10 to the 10, 10 of cups to the 10 of pentacles. And then we have uh, fruition, attainment, and completion with the nine of pentacles. Nine of swords, despair, anxiety. The king of swords in reverse, anger. Eight of pentacles in reverse, a lack of focus, a lack of ambition. And the eight of swords in reverse. This is um, releasing, being open to change couple extra. We have the Hermit in reverse, isolation, loneliness, withdrawal, the Ten of Wands, avoiding responsibility or taking on too much, Queen of Pentacles in reverse to match that King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody uh, is not in a relationship anymore. The Emperor in reverse. This is domination and control to the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups to the Nine of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands. He was trying to come out. Um... Let's see, Temperance, Four of Wands in reverse, Hangman in reverse, Three of Swords. Yeah, the story just keeps repeating, so we're going to stop there. All right, let's clarify this reading and see what the heck is going on here, Saggy. What is going on? So the Ace of Cups, this is feelings, right? Overwhelming emotion to the Five of Pentacles, insecurity, left out in the cold, worried. Ten of Swords in reverse. To the Queen of Cups, there has been an inevitable ending to your feelings somehow, some way, Sagittarius. Tell me about, tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse, please. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. So you see, this whole reading here is you and your feelings, overwhelming feelings about leaving someone out in the cold or being left out in the cold. An inevitable ending has come to a situation um, in regards to your feelings. King of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by the Seven of Cups, right? This is options, choices, confusion to the Page of Swords, right? All talk, no action to the Eight of Cups, walking away. Four of Pentacles. This is this is you, Sagittarius, feeling a need to lock down, right? Just a need to absolutely lock down. Yeah, look to death in reverse. This death in reverse is going to be about, is it a resistance to change or a personal transformation? I think it's a I think it's a personal transformation because we have the sun in reverse, right? You're not happy. You're not happy, and it's right underneath the ace of cups, which you're not happy about the situation to the world, right? This is um, personal closure. It's also shortcuts and delays, but it's, it's personal closure, right? Look to the moon. Um, this is releasing fear, releasing fear, dealing with repressed emotions and releasing fear to judgment, massive decision about harmony and home. Tell me about judgment right here. What is judgment about? What is judgment about? What is judgment about, please? What is judgment about? What is this massive decision? 
the Ten of Wands, avoiding the responsibility. The Hermit, doing some soul searching and some introspection, trying to come to terms with some kind of justice about an imbalance and a breakup in a relationship. What's on the table? What are you weighing? The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about this. The world. Yep, closing out that cycle. Closing out that cycle. Look, Ten of Swords in reverse again. An inevitable ending. Just over. To the Nine of Pentacles, right? This is a culmination. This is your own self-sufficiency, your own independence, and a culmination to the situation. Let me check and see if you guys can see these cards. Oh yeah, you can see everything just fine. Good. Okay, whoa. Nine of Pentacles to the Three of Wands, right? Preparation, foresight to the Nine of Swords, anxiety and despair to the King of Wands. I'm sorry, the King of Swords in reverse being angry, right? Somebody was possibly abusive. Somebody was manipulative. Somebody was impulsive. Ooh, somebody's angry. I think it's abusive. I think with the Nine of Swords preceding it, I think that somebody was abusive to you, right? And um, physical, emotional, mental, uh, maybe your kids, right? Somebody was abusive in the relationship, which resulted in, in the, the, a disregard for skills. The Three of Pentacles in reverse is a disregard for skills, right? This is somebody that um, is misusing their power and not appreciating the situation that they have or the people around them. And this is what this person did to you. I think this King of Swords in reverse is the person that you're leaving out in the cold. Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's a lot of past resentment. A lot of past resentment to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and you just have a lack of ambition, a lack of motivation to do anything to the, with this relationship. To the Eight of Swords in reverse, whoa. Yeah, look, Eight of Swords in reverse is about breaking free of the mental imprisonment to the Empress in order to come into your own, Sagittarius, in order to come into your own, in order to be okay. You had to cut this King of Swords in reverse out of the situation. I dropped cards. I'll be right back. Okay. What's behind me? Huh? Okay. Um, the devil, right? This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Uh, I put it back in the deck. Sorry about that. Hold on. Hold on. Where'd it go? Wasn't thinking. Okay, to the Five of Cups, right? So there is a toxic situation, an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth that brings you nothing but sadness, grief, and sorrow. The Hermit in Reverse tells me that you are in isolation mode. You are withdrawing and disconnecting from this relationship. The Ten of Wands, avoiding responsibility, not my circus, not my monkeys. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I used to be your queen, but I'm not anymore. You used to be my king, but you're not anymore. To the Emperor in reverse. This goes right back to the King of Swords in reverse, right? Somebody's abusive. The Emperor in reverse is about domination and control. Somebody that is inflexible. And that is the King of Swords. And that is the root of why this breakup is happening right here. Because somebody was just an asshole. Five of Swords, right? This is conflict, betrayal, win at all costs, mind games to the Two of Cups in a love relationship. Nine of Cups in reverse. Pisces is extremely dissatisfied. And Pisces, did I call you Pisces? I'm sorry, Sag. Um, and there is the King of Wands, right? Fire sign, Sag. Um, I see the King of Wands as um, Aries, right? Um, I see them as half Aries, half Scorpio, but in this particular situation, um, this King of Wands is representing Sagittarius in pursuit of achievement and success. Well, not in, even in pursuit of, in, in uh, attainment, um, you have achievement and success. This card represents you making your decision to move forward out of this relationship and feeling really, really good about the decision that you did make to the King of Pentacles, right? So we have the King of Wands to the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is telling me, 
telling me resistance delays frustration with the hangman in reverse to the tower. All right, this is telling me that this king of pentacles who used to hold title in your life but doesn't anymore, this is telling me that there was a tower moment, an explosion, right? So this king of pentacles, which who is the king of swords in reverse, right? The king of pentacles is the person, the, the place that they held in your life. The king of swords in reverse is, um, is um, how they're acting, okay? Um, this king of pentacles in reverse right here to the hangman in reverse tells me that you have tried to perhaps um, absolve this situation in the past, but this person was resistant. They didn't want to go. They didn't want to break up. They gave empty promises, right? Um, and then there was a tower moment, an explosion, and the five of pentacles. Um, you, you made them leave. You left them out in the cold, like straight up. You were like, that's it. This is the last straw. This is not happening. Yeah, look, the lovers in reverse, a severe misalignment of values to the six of pentacles. When it comes to giving and receiving equally, um, this person just, um, just, they were maniacal. They were controlling. They were domineering. And they were abusive. Um, whether it's physical abuse, mental abuse, or emotional abuse, Sagittarius, if this is happening in your life, you get the fuck out, okay? Get the fuck out. You pack your shit, you pack your kid's shit, and you leave. Or if the situation can call for it, you pack their shit and put it on the curb and say, see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. We do not tolerate abuse, Sagittarius. We do not tolerate abuse, okay? You get the hell out, you get this person out of your life, and you put yourself and your children in a safe place, okay? Whether you're male, female, it doesn't matter. Females can be just as abusive as men can be, particularly mentally and emotionally, right? So don't think just because you're a dude, you're not being abused in a relationship. I'm here to tell you, I have seen it straight up. I have seen it straight up up a, a woman abuse a man so don't um don't think that this isn't talking about you just because you might have a penis okay doesn't matter penis vagina it doesn't matter in the tarot it's energies that we're talking about so if you're being abused no matter if you're a dude or a woman um get the hell out of dodge okay get the hell out of dodge all right now I'm going to get a couple outcome cards, and then I'm going to read this straight from the top, okay? Let's get a couple outcome cards. I'm going to use good old-fashioned, full-size rider weight for this, okay? Spirit, what's the outcome here for Sagittarius? What is the outcome for Sagittarius? What is the outcome? Spirit, what is the outcome for Sagittarius in this situation? What is the outcome for Sagittarius in this situation, Spirit? What is the outcome? Whoa, we got a book. I'm going to look at them just to see, okay? Okay, well, interesting. This, These little cards right here basically are the whole reading in just one nutshell, right? What, what do they say? Well, the Page of Swords. There was some kind of stupid little communication to the King of Swords that triggered you to make a decision. Not just make a decision, but execute a decision. The decision is the Page of Cups in reverse. To block creation, to suppress creation, in this relationship to the empress because you will not tolerate what is happening here you are the empress in this reading and you are not going to tolerate the bad behavior that's happening here the magician comes in and says that you are using all of your resources to manifest your way out of this situation nine of wands in reverse this is um hesitant defensive and it's defensive it's not hesitant it's defensive look to the knight of swords in reverse this is a complete disregard for consequences this is sagittarius with the king of swords right here saying fuck you fuck this and fuck that i am so out of this situation disregard for consequences don't care leaving the situation behind period 
to the Five of Pentacles, right? Leaving it out in the cold to temperance. Balancing out, the card is Sagittarius, by the way, balancing things out, uh, purpose. You, you know that the purpose of this, this blow up that happened between the two of you was your door opening so you can exit this relationship. All right, so let's read this from the top one more time. Um, let's read it from the top one more time, fluidly, and we'll be done. All right, so Sag, Sag, and if I forget to leave a timestamp, if somebody will drop a timestamp at 2040, okay? 2040 is when I'm going to read fluidly, okay? Um, you open this reading with the Ace of Cups right here, right? Open the reading. There's overwhelming emotion to the Five of Pentacles because you are leaving somebody out in the cold. Overwhelming emotion because you're leaving somebody out in the cold. The situation has come to an abrupt halt, an absolute inevitable ending to the Queen of Cups. In your feelings, in your emotions, you have decided that this is it. This is over. This was the last straw. Somebody who used to hold position in your life with the King of Pentacles in reverse does not anymore. You have knocked this person off of the throne of placement in your life. Possibly because they have options and choices. And the Page of Swords says that it's all talk, no action, a bunch of bullshit, undelivered promises to the Eight of Cups in reverse, which, which causes Sagittarius to walk away from the whole situation. Um, disappointed, yeah, but walk away. I don't see the Three of Swords in this whole reading. You're not heartbroken, right? Because like I said, once before, you either tried or you knew that this whole relationship was going to come to an end at some point, okay? I don't see any broken hearts here. The Four of Pentacles. This is you needing to take control of the situation, right? Absolutely needing to take control of the situation. To death in reverse and the sun, right? There needs to be a personal transformation in this situation because you are not happy. You are not happy at all with the way that things are going. The world in reverse talks about getting some personal closure. The moon in reverse, dealing with your fears, dealing with your repressed emotions, and taking action to leave this situation out in the cold. Massive decision with the judgment card in the center of your reading. This entire reading revolves around this decision that you're making. This is, I mean, for God's sakes, this is Archangel Gabriel blowing the trumpet on judgment day, resurrecting the dead from the grave. This is a massive decision, a massive rebirth, a massive change in trajectory in your life. And you are making that decision, Sag. What is this about? This decision is about um, avoiding the responsibility, right? Dumping the whole damn thing. Been here, done this, don't want to do it again. This has been the story of this relationship and I'm not dealing with it anymore. The hermit doing some soul searching and some introspection to justice about how you are going to bring justice to your situation. And your answer is the Two of Cups in reverse. There is a serious imbalance in this relationship and you are dumping out the cups of love that you two once held with one another. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, right? This is what's on the table. Sag, this is what's on, this is what's on the table. Happiness and harmony in your life. Security and future. That's what's on the table. And Sagittarius is coming in with the world card and saying, yep, I am closing this cycle out of my life. And I think my life will have more harmony, more happiness, more security, more foundation for the future. If I close this cycle out, then stay in this cycle. And looky there, the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's an inevitable ending. It is coming to an inevitable ending, which is something that you saw a while back, but you kind of just, you know how you do, you just kind of hold on and maybe getting your ducks in a row, maybe waiting for the next big blow up, whatever, but you were just holding on for a minute. Nine of Pentacles, bringing everything to a culmination. You are bringing everything to a culmination and you're feeling really good about your sense of independence and self-sufficiency, right? To the Three of Wands, preparation and foresight about how to expand into your future. You are planning on leaving this situation. 
to the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords in reverse. Because this person, this King of Pentacles in reverse, who used to hold title but does not anymore, this is the action that they did that was the catalyst for this whole breakup, okay? Um, and could this be, does this have to be love? No, it doesn't have to be love. It really doesn't. It can be family. It can be friends. It can be, you can have an abusive boss for God's sakes, right? But whoever it is misuses their power. What's their power? Their power is their contribution to the relationship and how you feel about exchanging with this person, right? They are abusive, they are manipulative, and they have misused their power for the last time in this relationship. That's This is what causes the Nine of Swords, right? Despair and anxiety. Sag is like, no, no more, no more. Look, Three of Pentacles in reverse, no more. Dude, bro, sis, you have a disregard for my skills. You do not appreciate the relationship or the situation. And therefore, I am withdrawing my collaboration in the situation. Five of Swords. Too much resentment. You have done this one too many times. And I resent the hell out of you. And now I'm open to change in my life. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I have an absolute lack of ambition to pursue anything with you anymore. Eight of Swords in reverse. I am releasing myself from the mental imprisonment of walking on eggshells around you 24-7 for fear of pissing you off. And I am open to new perspectives in my life. The Empress. Because I am the Empress. And nobody does the Empress this way. Sorry, not going to happen. I am the Empress and I am using all four elements, my mind, my passion, my emotions, and my sense of security to remove myself from this abusive situation. Devil, the abusive situation. Dude, bro, sis, you are toxic and I am done. Five of Cups, lost, regret, despair, disappointment. Yeah, sure, of course. There's been time invested here, but it, sometimes it takes time to see the real person, right? Okay, the hermit in reverse. You are withdrawing. You are isolating yourself from this situation, withdrawing and isolating. Ten of Wands in reverse. Again, I think we had that someplace else up here. Not my circus, not my monkeys, not my responsibility. I am withdrawing my responsibility from this situation. Queen of Pentacles in reverse to match the King of Pentacles in reverse. We are no longer coupled. This is also, by the way, an imbalance in the family, okay? The emperor in reverse. We are we are hereby officially uncoupled because you are a dick. You are controlling. You're manipulative. You are are domineering and and you have done what you've done for the last time. Women can be dicks too. They can. Five of swords, right? All you bring to the table is conflict, betrayal, deceit, shady behavior. That's all you bring to the table. Two of cups to the nine of cups. I am extremely dissatisfied in this relationship and I'm not having any more of it. The king of wands. This is me. This is, this is me as Sagittarius, right? This is me not pursuing success and achievement, but achieving success right this is me being cocky and confident and knowing full well that i don't need you king of pentacles this is your this is your your person right your person king of pentacles you used to hold title in your life hangman in reverse somebody was resistant though perhaps it was you sag that was resistant to end this relationship perhaps it was them that was resistant to end the relationship but the whole thing came to a culmination with the tower it blew up in everybody's face and this tower moment is this five of pentacles king of swords right something happened and sagittarius was like no more 
Mm -mm. No more. Five of Pentacles. I am leaving your ass out in the cold. Lovers in reverse. There is a severe misalignment of values between the two of us. And I am not going to base my life on you anymore. To the Six of Pentacles. There is not equal give and take. There's not equal re reciprocity. Reci there's not equal give and take with um, each other. And there's a severe misalignment of values in this relationship. And I'm leaving it out in the cold. And that's simply the way it is. The outcome cards that we got, right? Page of Swords. Somebody popped off, said something stupid to the King of Swords. That was the trigger that made Sagittarius execute the decision to end this relationship. Page of Cups. The decision, the absolute termination of any kind of creation at all in this relationship. The Empress, because Sagittarius is not taking it. You know your self-worth. You understand um, what it takes to be on your own. And you would much rather. You are, you are the Empress on your own. You don't need this person. Remember, they're the Emperor in reverse back there. No, no. Sagittarius has everything that they need to be prosperous, abundant, independent and completely and totally in control the magician right the empress is pulling on the magician this is actually a really powerful combination because it goes magician and then empress right no no i'm sorry it goes fool magician high priestess empress right um the empress is pulling on the magician to work her way out of this situation. She's manifesting it and she has all of the resources that she could possibly need. See, the Empress is the culmination of all four queens in the deck. She has her emotions under control. She has her passions under control. She has her mental under control and she has her sense of personal security under control, as does the magician. The magician uses all four elements to achieve what they need to achieve, right? They use the, the, the spark, of the of the fire energy to to motivate them right then they use the mental to the air energy to wrap it around their mind around it right then they use the um the the water energy the feelings of the water energy to actually actually make it happen and then they use the earth energy to actually execute and that's what you're doing sagittarius as the empress pulling on the magician right it's almost like this is like your big strong uncle <laughs> and you're and you're saying, hey, I need to get out of here. Um, uh, this is um, defensive, right? Feeling super defensive. You have to defend yourself. Knight of Swords in reverse, a disregard for consequences. Fuck it. I'm done. I am done. Five of Colds. Leave five of five of Colds. <laughs> five of Pentacles. Leaving it out in the cold, right? done walking away in temperance because this is this is like a big fat hug from spirit honestly truly it's a big fat hug from spirit it is the card of Sagittarius and this is you knowing in your soul that that this whole exit that you're making right here is your purpose at this at this particular point in your life there you go, Sagittarius. We are at 33 minutes and 40 seconds. That was your reading. Um, um, I'm going to try to squeeze in a oracle card here, okay? Let's see. Hopefully I don't have to sew this video together. So let's sew in a, let's put in a, an oracle card. Spirit, what are your parting words for Aquarius? 16 rebirth this is the numerology guidance cards okay so you got 16 which is a rebirth six 16 rebirth this card indicates a time of major transition and transformation that will result in significant personal growth by drawing this card you have entered a period of spiritual awakening and rebirth where you have the opportunity to align with your higher self and the overarching principles that guide you this is where you surrender to the changes around you and prepare to be the best that you can you are being encouraged to trust and believe that a magical future awaits, but first you need to let go of the old in order to experience the new. 
Take time to reevaluate your core values and re-examine your life. Then eliminate any superficial foundations that don't align with your higher self and your dreams. This is a time to recognize to recognize and rise above any ego-based thoughts and behaviors. For humility and authenticity are the key to your success. Very nice. I think that fits this reading on point. There you go, Sag. This is your reading. If you liked it, like it. If you want to get some more of this from me, hit the little dingy bell and you'll get notified when I put readings out. Um, good luck with all of this, Sag. Stay out of abusive relationships. Stay away from abusive people. Do not tolerate it. You are the freaking empress. Namaste.